Uh, I'm not going to go through the mechanism uh, for the sake of time, but this goes back to a wonderful paper written by uh, Nick Norwitz and Dave Feldman, um, uh, published uh, talking about the potential energy model and why why you may get an increase in LDL, a decrease in triglycerides, and an improvement in HDL, good cholesterol, when you're in a ketogenic state. I wanted to show you, not everybody with high LDL automatically develops heart disease, even in familial hypercholesterolemia. Remember, we said this is not FH. But even if you looked at a population of patients with FH, they had a no plaque at all, calcium score of zero in 6,000 patients born with high LDL, and 5,000 patients had some plaque present. So LDL by itself, not always a driving force. You need other factors probably that, that help uh, drive this forward and give us a, a increased cardiovascular risk. And when they didn't have coronary calcium, there was no increase in myocardial infarction. And if they didn't have uh, uh, coronary calcium, even if they had high LDL above 193 for life, they didn't have increased risk of having a heart attack stroke or cardiac death. So. The, we um, looked back at the duration of high LDL in the population we studied in, the patient, in these 100 patients, and the mean duration was 4.7 years. <coughs> this is at baseline, so at follow-up now, we're going to have 5.7 years, and we finished the follow-up scans. We're still analyzing them, but we're going to have 5.7 years duration of elevated LDL induced by a ketogenic diet. And of course, our sample size, we'd have to admit, is modest, 100 patients, but um, uh, adequate to answer the question about what we will see as plaque progresses. So we concluded that after a mean duration of 4.7 years with a carbohydrate-restricted uh, diet inducing high LDL, a median of 272 milligrams per deciliter, a metabolically healthy cohort, and that's going to be important, uh, a metabolically healthy cohort of lean mass hyperresponders on a ketogenic diet did not have greater atherosclerotic burden than participants from a population-based uh, cohort with similar risk profiles but markedly lower LDL cholesterol. Again, there was no correlation between LDL and plaque burden, so we did not see a direct relationship where the higher the induced LDL, the more atherosclerosis at baseline will have a one-year follow-up to help, um, to help look at this. So uh, let me just finish up with just uh, this last slide, and then we can open up for Q&A. But I, I think that this is um, supporting data in the context of good metabolic health, that high LDL cholesterol may pose less concern, especially when it's induced by ketogenic diet. I don't think it, it eliminates or, or diffuses the lipid hypothesis that in Patients who have uh, metabolic disorders, diabetes, metabolic syndrome, other uh, coronary artery disease, that, that LDL shouldn't be reduced. LDL is, is a modifiable risk factor in the setting of metabolic disease. In the setting of good metabolic health, we did not see a predisposition at least over 4.7 years for more atherosclerosis than, a, than the general population. So poor metabolic health and or existing disease will still need treatment.